Welcome back to the MSU Federal Credit Union Coaches Show. After starting out the 2022-23 campaign with a pristine 6-0 record, the MSU women's basketball team finds itself in the midst of a four-game losing streak. However, if Susie Merchant can get her team to play like they did in the final six minutes of their most recent loss to Purdue, they should be back in the win column in no time. This year also marks year 16 for Merchant at the helm, and it's where we begin our chat this week. Well, Susie, we'll just start with this. How is uh, life these days and how is year 16 going for you so far? Oh, busy, busier than ever. You know, a lot of travel and a lot of games already, you know, in the books. It's, uh, it's been a ride for sure. We're learning a lot about our team. Um, you know, we have some new faces or seven new kids on this roster. So trying to piece them all together has been definitely um, entertaining, I'll say that, entertaining and trying to, you know, on and off the court, keep them connected. Who has been the most entertaining player, per se, for you guys? Well, I mean, I think everybody would kind of look at K-Mac as the one, Kamari McDaniel is the one that's kind of, you know, been that more dynamic score. We, we needed a score, we lost Nia, she's a three-level score, and she does a pretty good job of sharing it as well. So. Uh, I think she stepped up. She's fun to watch. She's got some power to her game. She's got some um, ability to lead as well. So it's been fun to have her. She is what I think we would call definition of a gamer because when you're in a situation where you need a bucket or you need somebody to step up and rise to the occasion, so far she has seemed to do that for your team. And when you were trying to get her from the portal, how did that process go down or how did you know that you needed to have her? Well, we were looking for a score for sure in the in the portal, and I think you know one she's from our state, and she had, you know, she had a rough go of it, and and a lot of people might not not know, but I'm her I'm her fifth college coach, you know, so her portal reasons have been more because there's been a coaching change than it's I don't like it where I'm at, I'm just ready to go, you know. She was at Penn State and went to play for Coquise, who then ended up you know leaving and then played for someone else, so then she put her name in the portal, went to Baylor to play for Kim Mulkey. Had to sit out that year as pre-portal times, I guess. Got hurt and then a new coach came in. So now I'm literally her fifth college coach and she's had a couple injuries that have gone with that. So, you know, her ability to be resilient and um, handle adversity, or whether it be something in her control um, or outside of her control has been something that's gonna fare very well for her in her life. The overtime loss to Purdue. You mentioned after the game, that you needed more fight, competitiveness, toughness for 34 minutes and not just the final six. As a coach, it can be easy to teach the techniques and fundamentals of the game of basketball, but how do you get them to understand that aspect, the fight, grit, competitiveness? Yeah, I think that's, you know, I think if you look around the country, I think a lot of people are in that mode, you know, I, I, women's game, men's game. I think when you come now from, you know, where they come from, the AAU, I think you're really starting to see the fabric of like, understanding how important every possession is and they they haven't come from that frame of reference right the frame of reference is well win lose or draw I get my next game and I'm having a good time I'm going out to eat like there's not a lot attached to consequence wise so I think you know you're looking at um, things that you got to continue to keep putting your foot on and keep talking about and keep finding ways to stay competitive in practice how many of your players played AAU basketball? Every single one of them. And if they didn't play AAU, their term, like our international kids, it was more international. But even Isa, who is, is Canadian, she played on a AAU program. So, I mean, that's the fabric. We, you know, we really recruit now more from AAU than we do from high schools. I mean, certainly that's, high schools have become a little more secondary. You guys now, too, are trying to snap a four game losing streak. You're going to Ohio State on Sunday just the challenges that this team presents and what you've been telling the players about. You know, they're successful because their two guards are consistent as the day is long, their motors are good, their work ethic is good, their attitudes are good, they, um, they, bring, they bring the same focus, intent, and toughness and lead that team. I think their, their center, the, the, the young lady that came from Russia, she was a piece of the puzzle in the past and now she's really elevated. She's actually their leading scorer. Merchant would love to win another Big Ten title over the next five years, and one player who could help her get a little bit closer to that goal this season is graduate guard Kamaria McDaniel. She has been on fire for the Spartans as of late, and we sit down with her when we come back. 
Closed captioning sponsored by Hearing Life, helping Spartans love their ears. With 41 locations across Michigan, go to hearinglife.com to take a free online hearing test.